In this video, we're going to be going through the construction of the crossover network that was supposed to be the project for labs 9 and 10 in class. Uh, to begin with, I've laid out the components necessary to complete the circuit construction. We have our breadboard uh, that has three power supply inputs at the top. I have a general selection of jumper wires. And then I've gone ahead and laid out the components necessary for the circuit build. You can see that I have three 10K potentiometers. It might be difficult to read uh, from where you're at, but the potentiometers are labeled with R103. And so what that means is a 10 followed by three zeros when you're looking at potentiometers, so that's 10K. Next, I needed two 330 ohm resistors. So those are cut there, bent, and trimmed, ready to go. I know they're 330 ohms because the color code is orange, orange, brown, which is 330 ohms. The next component I have are two 220 kilo ohm resistors. The color code for those is 224, which comes from red, red, yellow. And what that means is 22 with four zeros behind it, which comes out to 20, 220 kilo ohms. The next component I have is two 47 kilo ohm resistors already cut and trimmed. The color code for 47K is yellow, purple, orange, or 473. So that's 47 with three zeros behind it, which is a 47 kilo ohm resistor. Moving on to the capacitors necessary. You recognize these are the, for, the, for the filters. I've got a one microfarad tantalum capacitor. I chose a tantalum because it's pretty small compared to what a ceramic capacitor would look like at one microfarad. That'd be a really, really large physical capacitor. And then we really don't want to use electrolytic capacitors in analog circuits, if at all possible, because of the polarization issue. So I've got a tantalum here. It's one microfarad. I know it's one microfarad because it's labeled with the number 105. That's a 10 with five zeros behind it in picofarads. So 10, five zeros times 10 to the minus 12 is equivalent to one microfarad. The next component I have is a 220 nanofarad ceramic capacitor. Um, it, I know it's 220 nanofarads because it's labeled with the number 224, which is a 22 with four zeros behind it in picofarads, which gives me 22, 220 nanofarads. The last component I have are my TLC081 operational amplifiers. Uh, these are labeled on them with the part number TLC081. Can't see it in the video, but I promise it's there. And one of those is going to be used as a buffer, and one of those is going to be used as the inverting summing amplifier. I also have my lab station set up, so you can see there I've got a function generator for testing circuits. I've got a triple output power supply on the top there. Below that, I have my uh, DMM, so voltage meter, current meter, and ohm meter. And then over here, I've got my oscilloscope. So all the equipment that I need to um, build the circuit is already prepped and ready to go, which is how you want to start building complex circuits like this. Have all your equipment ready organized and uh, set aside so that you know exactly where the uh, parts that you need for your circuit are.